Hi, Andrea here, and let's work today on learning variation A, Twinkle variation A. So this is the first variation that we learn when we are starting our Suzuki journey, and it's a really nice variation that we can use in so many ways, and that's why it's so, uh, uh, so useful for us, for all of, all of us. Every Suzuki teacher we use that. So let's let's begin, shall we? So this twinkle variation, we use a rhythm that sounds like this. So you can call this twinkle variation any way you like. So if you find a combination of words that you you like it you can use it so many suzuki teachers use mississippi hot dog but you can find many many different variations of that as well so you can find as mississippi hot dog pepperoni pizza uh, anything that you want <laughs> so just something to help you to find what is a good uh, analogy for you so, just like that. And you can apply this rhythm on each one of the notes from the twinkle theme. So, for example, in the beginning. I'm waiting a little bit between notes just to show you a little bit slower but that's how we we learn it, it's just to help us learning right so let's do like this here so I want you to try to play several times on the E string the same rhythm Try doing in another string. Okay, so maybe you want to be even more precise on what you're doing, right? To get an even sound or even. Uh, a more beautiful sound and you don't know what what is happening so I'll give you some tips to help you improve okay so the first thing that you want is to make sure that you are beginning that rhythm at the same spot on your bow every time so make sure that you the the, the easiest way to do it is to start your bow in the middle not too close to your hand neither the tip so in the middle that's easier and when you use your whole uh, when you use your arm try to use just the forearm to do that so for example if I'm playing on the A string try to use just your forearm to move don't move your whole arm while you do that all that movement so in the middle and try to use just your forearm You can see my bow is not that straight, but just in here. Okay, so that's the first advice that I can give you. Okay? Try to use the same amount of bow for each one of those rhythms. Each one of those bow strokes. So... Maybe you can do you can get like a little bit slower if that's too fast for you. You can practice slower. Practice slower until you get the get the hang of it. So You 
you can try also to put something on your bow to help you finding where to play so for example trying to use the same amount of bow Okay, so that was the second tip for you. So first, start in the middle. Second, trying to use the same amount of bow, right? Third now, stopping your bow. So play. There is a stop. Stop. Make sure that you stop your bow clean. Clean stop. Okay. So that twinkle variation, we're going to use this many, many ways. Okay, so this will be very, very helpful on your practice and make sure that you are playing that correctly so you can get the most out of it okay so how about us playing an A scale with that you could play So that's it. Thank you so much and see you later.